This is the life of Tropical Cyclone Kenny up to about four hours ago. Tropical Cyclone Kenny, Central Pressure 985 millibars, it could be lower, uh, Category 2 located near 17 decibel 3 degrees south 173 decibel 6 degrees east and cyclone intensify we know that Kenny is a category 3 uh, this is the uh, information that I'm getting off the weather Nandy's website what I'm going to do is look at the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre and shortly a look at their current track tropical cyclone 19p uh, kenny located 87 nautical miles west southwest of suva tracking east south east at 18 knots over the last six hours animated multiple spectral satellite imagery depicts a large mass of deep convection centrally located over and obscuring the low level circulation tropical cyclone Kenny did or still has a microwave eye Tropical Cyclone Kenny is in an area light to moderate 15 to 20 knots northwesterly vertical wind shear, tracking through warm at 28 29 degrees Celsius sea surface temperature. And Kenny is forecast to continue to accelerate southeast throughout the forecast along the periphery of the NER located to the northeast favorable conditions will persist for the next uh, 12 hours this is the look at the latest NOAA floaters uh, after 12 hours sea surface temperatures will decrease vertical wind shear will increase due to an upper level low wave trough deepening upstream the overall unfavourable conditions will cause the system to begin a weakening trend within 24 hours and will also begin extra tropical transition within 48 hours. The increasing vertical wind shear is in phase with the storm motion. Upper level divergence is around 40-50 knots. We also have ex-tropical cyclone Iris in the uh, coal sea. The uh, information currently available on the Fiji's weather side hasn't really changed. Wind shear, tropical systems don't like the area in red. 24 hour shear tendency and the low wind shear is the area in blue and green one of my favorites is the 850 millibar vorticity this is for the southwestern pacific region Here's a look at one of the Fiji's radar. The main one is currently offline. And shortly we have a look at the latest service chart. We also have another area of interest, it's 92p, Invest 92p 
within the Cook or Cook's Islands region. And apology, that service chart is uh, out of date. Now here's some uh, track models or models in their tracks. This is the EPS. And long term is going to track to the northeast of the North Island of New Zealand. Look at the late cycle intensity of guidance. Uh, one model has it a cat free. We know it's a cat free on the Australian scale. Uh, the Safra Simpson uh, would be cat two. Now we look at total precipitable water. You can actually see where tropical cyclone Kelly is located. And considering that this update is being produced for Nathan uh, by uh, myself, uh, the AU channel, we're also keeping a close eye on the remnants of ex-tropical cyclone Iris. The AU channel will continue to bring the latest uh, information on both systems. Now we look at the Pivotal Weather website. It's a GFS model and we look at pressure in millibars. I think it's the 850 millibar level and winds in knots. We know that tropical cyclone Kenny is to weaken. And if you'd like to be part of Force 13, here's Nathan with his uh, contact details. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool 13, at extension 9094.